Hey guys, it's Nadia from the Idea Designs and today I have another fun project. We are using this amazing mold from Resin Art JDs on Instagram. And uh, what I want to do is make this look like carnival glass. So kind of an oil slick, rainbowy, um, really just eye catching piece. And we're going to be using some mica flakes and mica pigments to, um, to do that today. So what we're going to be doing is just dry brushing this right into the mold. And uh, so this technique is called burnishing. So we're going to be just using small circles to kind of just make sure we're really getting that pigment right into all the little details of this mold. So I recently saw some carnival glass on Pinterest and I was just and so in awe of how beautiful the colors and the rainbows are. And we can get a similar effect with these chameleon um, or these color shifting type of pigments. So these particular ones I'm using are from Shop Resin Molds. And as always, if you are looking for the links to these brands, please check underneath the uh, description in underneath the video here so that will have the links and if I have discount codes I include them there as well so um, we're gonna go into a time lapse just now so you guys can watch as I fill in the rest of this mold and we're gonna be kind of creating a neat pattern hopefully so that once we get ready to sh to unmold it and make it into a bowl um, it's gonna look really cool so all right so I'm gonna leave you guys for the time lapse and we'll see you on the other side Alright, so we're just about ready to pour our resin, but before we do that, I just want to clean up the edges here with some of the flakes and mica powder that just kind of floated around and attached itself to the edges of this mold. Because when we want to unmold it later on, it's not going to be, the resin's not going to be fully cured, so it will stick to pretty much anything that's still on the mold here. So just going to do a little cleanup and now we're ready to pour our resin. I mixed a purple color for our resin. You could use black or really any other color. You want to choose a color that's on the darker side. That's really going to help um, emphasize these uh, color shifting pigments uh, once they're once this piece is cured. So I went with a dark purple, but again, you could use black or any other color that you like. And I wanted to have the back also kind of have a bit of a gradient, even though it's going to be on the bottom. So I added some of this dark sapphire blue as well and just kind of mixed it up a bit. So once this is done, we will wait about three and a half to four hours and then we're ready to mold it. Okay, 
Okay, so it's been about three and a half hours. I came in to check to see how it's doing and it's ready to come out of the mold. It's still very flexible, which is what we need it to be. So this time will depend on your resin. So my resin generally hardens uh, like a soft cure, but basically enough to come out of a mold in about eight hours where it's no longer flexible or bendy. So, um, so it's usually about half the time to, for you to, if you want to shape it into a bowl or any other shape. So again, in my case, my resin is about eight hours. So at about three and a half to four hours is the time that I need to go and pull it out of the mold so I can shape it. So I'm just using my hands first to kind of get the edges up and then I'm going to push it into this bowl that has been lined with cling wrap just so it doesn't actually stick to the bowl once it's fully cured. And I want a bit of a wavy edge so you can see I'm just going to play around with it here to get that edge. And once I get it to the way I like, I'm just going to leave it sit in this bowl overnight so then we will unmold it in the morning. So it's the next day and we are ready to unmold it. As you can see, I used some popsicle sticks to kind of help help hold some of the waves that were being a bit finicky. And uh, and there's a cling wrap, gonna remove all that and there is our bowl. How pretty is that? My goodness, I love these colors, they're so awesome. And here is the final bowl. And again, just look at the details on this mold. It is uh, it's incredible. I think she actually uh, took this mold from a crystal platter, so it really actually does have that glass look. And it's perfect for little candies or anything else you want to put in. So if you like this video, please don't forget to leave me a comment and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys! Bye!